Hello YouTube, it's Damien from Anagram Life and I want to talk to you today about Type 9s. It's the 8th of April, 017, and I'm going to talk about an incident when I behaved like a Type 9. I'm not a Type 9 on the Enneagram, but we all have times in our lives when we go into the mindsets that are very similar to other types. Because we all go through the full array of emotions. So it's very easy to see what it's like to be another type if you're feeling the same emotions of that type, if you're in the same mindset. So it's really good. Uh, to remember a time when you were like, when you felt like a type, whatever type, any type, a six, a seven, a, a one, when you felt like a one, that's really going to help you understand the one's mindset. And I was going into a particular situation with a type nine mindset. So this situation was a person I knew in Australia was visiting Tokyo and I lived on a small island off Japan with only 2,000 people where I was extremely isolated and had poor internet, was, I was the only native speaker, so my I was really isolated and this guy came to Tokyo and contacted me. Now the thing is in the past, I would previously decided never to interact with him again because he had been so insulting, he had been so offensive in the past, he was such an arrogant person and I was just like, whoa, I want to cut this dude out of my life. But having been on that island for, at that stage, more than a year and him contacting me and I hadn't spoken to him for probably at least a year and a half. And I said, to, I said to people, man, I don't know if I should see this guy. But, you know, with all that isolation I was feeling, I decided to meet up with him. And so he was in Tokyo for like a week and I met up with him for quite a few days. And we had our own hotels and he was there with his wife. And I knew going into the situation that this guy was... Well, a pretty horrible person. And I think that has helped. Well, that was part of the reason why I went into it with the type nine, nine mindset. And the type nine mindset, the type nines are known to be the friendliest of the types and the most liked of all the types. Now, I'm not going to give you a textbook definition of a type nine. You can look that up, but... To me, the one-line summary caricature of a Type 9 is that they're a friendly guy that really wants to get along with people. Wants to get along with people. Not tries to get along with people because they think there's some advantage in, in it for them. Some sort of a manipulative thing. No, they genuinely want to get along with people and that's why they're so friendly and knowing to be... You know, that's why they're such a liked... Uh, type so and they have a very calming presence the type 9 and the way they do it is it's diffusing bad situations is such an enormous part of how they do that redirection of bad energy that's put forward into some sort of a social situation and diffusement before the bad situation arises this is how they manage to create that vibe of just chilled, which is which is type nine is so good at, and why they like so so much. And so I was going into the situation with this sort of a mindset. I I felt like I could diffuse this guy's negativity and. I, I was positive about what was going to happen. I was like, we're going to have a good time because we're going to go to these cool places in Tokyo. 
and they haven't seen these places before, and we'll be touring around, and we're going to see these cool things, and it's going to be fun. And I knew that he was an asshole, but I was really confident in my ability to defuse all of that. And it was that chilled sort of, nah, it's going to be okay, it'll be okay, confidence. It wasn't like, cause that's what the type 9 is, type 9 is very unassuming. And that's the mindset I was in. And that's kind of the mindset you have to be in if you're going to meet someone that you know is like an insulting or an offensive or a really arrogant person. Because otherwise, if you're going into an environment like that, you'll either go in there and you know you're going to get into some sort of a argument or a fight or something like that, or you're going into it with a belief that you can handle all of that terribleness and turn it into positiveness and so yeah that, they're kind of your two options in a situation like that and I was going in with the nine mindset because that was in a sense the best option to go in no one really well sometimes people want to go into uh, you know that sometimes people want to go into a social situation and start a conflict of some kind and, and but I think in a lot of those situations if people think there's going to be a conflict they just won't go into that social situation so in a sense it was go in as a type 9 or don't but this was subconscious like I wasn't choosing to go in as a type 9 it's just that that was the mindset that suited the situation and you know a lot of before I knew about the Enneagram I actually, a lot of the human interaction sort of skills that I was trying to develop were type 9 behaviors because those, and I, I found out these skills from books about psychology and whatnot, and it just so happens that they were type 9 behaviors because the type 9 is really good at social interactions, a lot of social interactions there's various forms of social interactions and so I was going in with this this mindset and I went in there with that and I was putting all this positivity out there and it was working I was deflecting so much and diffusing so much and redirecting so much but in the end the total telly was certainly that this guy was offensive and very uh says a you know a lot of uh attack just basically attacked me with quite a number of things but it was that indirect attack you know that wasn't the uh the face on type of outright you're this blah blah putting hatred straight at you it was always those sort of underhand little comments here and there and that sort of thing is actually can be harder to it can be harder to address that because you're, you're more likely to let it go when it's those sort of little underhand comments and but it was so many of them in the same comments and him just repeating it and doing that and I was still trying to defuse it when it was inappropriate and I shouldn't have been I should have changed mindsets but I didn't and so I was in this type 9 mindset and in the end I ended up feeling that this guy had taken advantage of all the positivity and the hopefulness and the trying to have a good time that I was putting out and instead had used that as a way to just dump his crap on me. So yeah, I definitely felt taken advantage of. And... I sh should have changed mindsets. I should have realized what was happening. But it is hard to change a mindset. And of course, you know, I was in that social situation of being isolated. So I, it was a bigger deal just having a chance to speak English to someone. I guess it really says that you've got to have a balanced lifestyle too. You've got to make sure that you do have good social interactions with others with people uh otherwise you know you can be end up in a situation like that anyway please subscribe and press the like button